Happy 87th birthday, Mom. Here's the first of a series of videos using the Fox Builder Punch and Foxy Friends stamp set. I had planned on sending these to you by message, but even the individual sections of this video are too long to be able to do that. So if anyone else watches this, it's a very quick and dirty job. I can't claim any originality in these, but since I've seen various versions in so many places, I can't even give any one person credit for the idea. Today, we're going to work on the fox and the skunk. Have fun. All right, Mom, we're going to start off by doing what I consider the simplest way of making these little animals, using the punch to paper piece them. And the fox is a good example of this. The way that I started off is I will cut the color that is the main body that I'm going to use, punch the entire thing out. And then sometimes I will just, if I'm lazy, I'll just cut out all of the pieces out of the second color. However, if I'm needing to cut multiple of some of the pieces, like I want to have a little bit of this piece here, I'll just selectively punch that and end up with that. And then I will also need a black nose for this little guy. So I will take a single piece of black and slide it in. And of course, I cut it too short to really work it easily. Slide it in there and punch. And all of those pieces are garbage. And I have the one little piece for his nose. So let's go ahead and start building him. Separately, you want to build the body and the head and the tail. So for the head, I need these two pieces. Oh, come on, that is just so slippery. And again, glue is my favorite way of adhering these. Lay them up, and I think that he needs a couple of little inner ear dots, too. So, I'll take those two little pieces. And everyone has their own way of hanging on to these. I tend to do a combination of tweezers and also the pick up sticks. Sometimes just spitting on my finger and picking them up too. Whatever works for you, go for it. All right. Now I have his head done. But you know what? I think that he would be cute with a little top knot there too. So I'm going to put that in, and I don't want to have the whole, oh, come on. The whole thing there, so I will glue it and then trim off the back portion of it. And you who are the queen of the fussy cutters will find this really easy. Now for his body, I want to put another one of those little pieces in. Something that will go down below his chin. And since this is going, the top of this will be hidden, 
behind his head. I'm not even going to bother cutting that off. And for his tail, just decide which direction you want his tail to be pointing. Do you want to have it on this side of the body? Or you could flip it and put it on that side of the body. Now, also, with some of the animals, you may find it makes a difference whether you have it in this orientation or this orientation. But, you know, it is 100% up to you in the way that you choose to do it. I think that I'm going to put it like this this time. And again, I want to have a little white tag on the end of his tail. Whoops, get it going right. So I have him this way. Now for his face. I'm just going to put in a couple of little dots for eyes. And if you're looking directly down on him, it's far easier to do that. And then also his little black nose. So he is looking a lot more like a little fox now. Um, let's start assembling him. Just as simple as a little bit of glue on his tail and position it however you want to, more upright or to the side, whichever. And a little bit of glue on the head there. And put his head in place. Now you have a perfectly cute little fox. If you wanted to step it up one notch, an option would be to use the little feet stamp, leg stamp, out of the stamp set. And here I am using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. That seems to be about my favorite for um, using on items. Now, again, it helps if you get directly over it to stamp. There. Now, you just added one little touch to it and... Um, stepped it up a notch. So have fun with him and we will work on another animal. Okay mom, next animal up today is the skunk. And um, you just punch everything out the same way that you've done on the fox with one slight difference on it. But let's go ahead and do the things that are the same. I'm going to assemble his head first. Oops, come on. I've got all these little pieces lined up here. And give him a black nose. I will also give him a couple of little eyes here. He gets a top knot also. And put 
put it on there and leave parts sticking up or hanging down, whatever, whatever your preference is on it. This little guy, I'm going to give him pink inner ears. And on his body, I'm going to put another little fluff of fur at the neck. And again, the part that sticks up is going to be covered by his head, so I'm not even going to bother trimming that off. The next part that is a little bit different is his tail. You need to, again, first off, decide what direction you want his tail going. I'm going to choose to have it go this way. And I also want to build a stripe into that tail. So what I'm going to do is start trimming away at the tail. I find that it's a lot easier to stick it to a post-it note and have something to hang on to when I put it back into the punch. And I just kind of eyeball it and decide how much of it I want to trim away. Give it a punch. And then audition it back on the tail. Um, and I think that I want to have the stripe a little bit narrower on him. So back to the punch. You know what? This time around, I think I am just going to trim a little bit off by hand because I am not having any luck hanging on to it long enough to put it back in the punch. The nice thing about putting it back into the punch is that you do keep absolutely precise curve on it. And I am not the best of the hand trimmers on this, but you are certainly very good at it. All right, let's just go ahead and attach the tail. And as you can see, I'm a little bit ragged on that corner, so if I had trimmed enough off to start off with when I had it in the punch, I wouldn't have had so much problems, but then I probably wouldn't have had as many problems if I hadn't been trying to film this at the same time, too. So we are just going to... Assemble him, and now you have your little skunk done. <laughs>